guys, it's the Power BI guy and today I'm going to show you how to add and remove columns within your tables via a slicer selection. Now this is really neat, so if we take a look at our table, we have our total sales on the right. But then if I selected cost, we can see now that this has brought in an additional column. If I remove total sales and then let's say we brought in percentage sales, these are all our calculations and via the selection we're adding additional data points or removing them. We can do this with actual descriptive data as well. So this can be columns with, with fields such as subcategory or this could be um, the fr regions, franchises, etc. Um, so if I selected just category, we can see now we, we've got a different split. If I selected subcategory or multiple. So it's really neat in what it allows you to do. Um, and it's really easy to implement with the latest uh, release of field parameters. So without further ado, let's start this video. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that the latest release has been enabled. So if we go to options, we need to go to uh, under our general settings, we're going to look at preview features and then make sure we have field parameters enabled. Once you enable that, you're going to have to restart Power BI Desktop. And once we do that, what you want to do is if we go to insert, no mo modeling, if we go to modeling and then select, uh, we can select fields. We've now essentially got this parameter selection. So what we can do is if we name this, so I'm going to call this uh, calculations. Uh, let's just call this calculations. And then for our parameters, so these are going to be our selections. We need to create a group. So think of these as buckets. So I'm going to put in costs. That's one bucket profit. Uh, let's do profit last year and then orders. And if we create that, this is now going to create a table and this with this calculation. So these are our selections inside uh, our slicer. So it auto creates a slicer. We can remove that. That's not an issue if we wanted to, uh, if you're not using it right now. But we can see we have our table. And if we select calculations and convert that to a slicer, we can see that we have our selections for our different measures. Now, depending on what visual you're using, in this case, this is for this is an example for tables. If we brought in, let's say, one of our descriptive information into ship mode, now that parameter that we created has stored all our calculations that we can possibly select. So if I bring that into a column, we can now see that based on my selection cost, uh, it is showing the cost column. Now, right now, if I select profit, it will change that. If I select control because I need to enable multi selection, we can see that it has now brought in an additional column. So essentially with your measures, you can build out whatever view you want as an end user and where previously you could have done this, but it wasn't easy to implement with field parameters. It makes it much, much easier. So right now we have ship mode and we brought, we brought, we created calculation parameters, but let's now create uh, descriptive parameters. So what we're going to do, go back to modeling, fields and we're going to call this let's call this product category so now if I go to my product table and bring in that information so I'm going to start off with product name category subcategory and then create if we bring that slicer back here we can see we have the measure that's been auto created but what we want to do is remove that individual ship mode column we don't want to look at that data um, and then if I bring in the product category parameter, we can see we have our selection. And then if I look at the table, I need to bring that parameter here. And now we can see that our selection has been made. So 